Starting off the news this week is the fabulous reveal of some of the first images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, which launched on Christmas Day last year. The first image released was dubbed as the deepest, most detailed infrared view of the universe to date. A stunning image of the Southern Ring Nebula was also released, showcasing a dying star cloaked in dust and gas. Also released was an image of Stefan's Quintet, a collection of five galaxies with details that we've never been able to see before. This particular image was the largest that the telescope took, with over 150 million pixels and constructed from nearly a thousand separate files. The Carina Nebula was also captured in infrared and, like these other images, looks completely magical. Another incredible achievement from the telescope was the observation of a distant exoplanet to determine the composition of its atmosphere in greater detail than ever before. The James Webb Space Telescope is just getting started and it's already looking brilliant. It's got an incredibly exciting future. In other news, the Airbus Zephyr S, an unmanned solar-powered plane, has just broken its own record for the longest unmanned flight. As of yet, Airbus have not commented on the flight, but tracking data suggests the plane has broken the record by flying for at least 26 days straight. As of writing, the aircraft is still up and can be found on some aircraft tracking apps. Up next is some paleontology news, with a very exciting description of a huge new car carrier donted dinosaur from Argentinian Patagonia. Named Meraxes Gigas, after one of the dragons from the A Song of Ice and Fire book series or Game of Thrones show, this new taxon is known from a pretty complete skeleton, the most complete example of this dinosaur group found in the Southern Hemisphere, revealing a lot of new information about this remarkable group of dinosaurs. Coming from the Hue and Kuhl formation, the same formation from which Macrosaurus originates, it was found in a lower stratigraphic level than this other massive theropod. A phylogenetic analysis reveals Meraxes to be a derived Carcharodontosaurus, grouping together with Mapusaurus, Gigantosaurus and Tyranotitan, and it displays a number of unique anatomical features. This includes a very large claw on the second digit of its foot, and thanks to a very well-preserved forelimb, it has enabled paleontologists to track evolutionary convergences between reduced arms in different theropod groups, finding that an enlargement of the skull size is often accompanied by a shrinking of the forelimbs. The very complete skull of Meraxes has also allowed for an improved estimate of skull length in Gigantosaurus, finding that this dinosaur has one of the longest skulls of any dinosaur, at around 1.62 meters. Also this week is the great news that the Eurotyrannus monograph has at last been published. This immense volume of work describes in detail every bone currently known from this early Tyrannosaur from the Isle of Wight in the UK. Some interesting aspects of the skeleton include the fact that the nasal bones were highly pneumatic, that it does not have the arctometatarsalian condition of the feet, and that it does not have an elongate rostrum. The study also finds evidence supporting the placement of Megaraptorans within the Tyrannosauroids, which is very interesting and increases the known diversity of these dinosaurs in the early Cretaceous. Well, that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week.